In the world of the Transformers, it used to be easy to spot the difference between a Decepticon and an Autobot. But now, the mini-spies are on the loose. They look like Autobots, but are they? As stated in the beginning, these are mini-spies. So these are G1 Transformer figures that, um, they're basically little spies, you know? So the idea is these are the first of the rub label figures, I guess. And these were little pack-ins with other Transformers. And they have little pullback mechanisms so they can speed around. They're small. They can sneak around, be little spies. And then you don't know if they're a Decepticon or an Autobot until you rub the label. So uh, for the label rub, it takes a lot of pressure and constant rub. I don't know if that's because of the age. But eventually you'll see the insignia show here. Let me see. you, oh, Lord. Just go real fast. Yeah, you can see Autobot symbol right there. And then this one is also an Autobot, so if we got time in the day for me to rub this for 20 minutes. Uh, that's what she said. Um, yeah, then you'll see that this is also an Autobot. There we go. Um, and then these are just really cool little figures. Uh, nothing amazing, really, but it's rare that you get a Transformer that's a pullback vehicle that also then still transforms. And, yeah, you know, it's not the greatest transformation. Let me show you that real quick, so... Uh, they don't have names, so I guess the idea would be you could give them a name or create whatever character you want for them. And I guess there was a whole bunch of variation with these, that like something like 72 different ones or something like that, if I remember correctly. Um, but then we pull this down here, let's go. And then these are going to pull apart from each other. Ah, lordy. Yeah. And then, yeah, this is... Uh, this is... <laughs> That's the figure. That's an Autobot right there. Um, not the greatest G1 figures in figure form. Obviously very limited. They are trying to accomplish a lot, though. They're trying to be really small, really stealthy, and then they're trying to have a transformation mixed in with this mechanism of the fucking pullback race car, which it's asking a lot, and I think they pull off the car part really well, because I think these cars, for all things considered... They're pretty cool. It's It catches the look, you know, for this guy over here. I think it says, what, FX1 or something there. Um, yeah, these are cool cars, and they just mix in with Hot Wheels so well that I actually bought these in a bag full of Hot Wheels. Um, and other really cool vehicles, but uh, just for a few bucks. Uh, they're apparently kind of rare. Uh, so when it comes to articulation on them, they have these little noodly arms on these metal pegs here that can kind of wiggle back and forth. You can get all sorts of up and down motion going on there. <laughs> the knees, you can technically bend. I don't know if you want to consider that much of a... <laughs> I don't know if it's really usable articulation, though, because you can't, like, pose him with his knees bent or anything. Like, if he's getting shot, I guess he can be like, oh, oh dude, that worked so well. <laughs> And then this guy over here, uh, let's transform him real quick. Uh, their faces, you'll notice, are very, like, weird, nondescript, metallic uh, blobs. Just amorphous blobs, more or less. Let me pull him in closer here. Oh, boy. Pull apart. Uh, it's hard. All right, there we go. Yeah, you can see this beautiful mug on him. It's kind of an almost doughy, formless face. He's got kind of a wing helmet thing going on there. It's not terrible. And look, you can see the Takara 84 on his, in between his legs, I guess that would be. Uh, I don't think there's any point to display them like this, though. If I were to toss them on a shelf, I'm probably going to have them in the car mode. Like, look at that. That's a pretty decent looking little car, and it definitely pulls off the G1 car mode. Like, that looks like every other G1 Transformer car, in my opinion. That could fit in very well. But the the robot mode, I'm not feeling that. Let me pull in. So here's another G1 Autobot. You'll see just about the same size, too. This one pulls off the robot mode so much better, though. He has a detailed face. He's got stickers showing off some, uh, some variation in the body. And then just... He's got little fists even over here. He's got that rolling. For these guys... They kind of, yeah, they kind of have fists tucked in there, and they kind of have a vague form of a body. But on, honestly, all complaining aside, these are really cool figures for the day, and still really cool figures as it is. Like, if I were a kid nowadays, and I got these guys, 
I don't think I would hate it. I think I would still enjoy playing with them quite a bit, honestly. So, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. Um, tell me if you've ever had these or ever even heard of these. I know they're kind of rare or just lesser talked about figures. But, um, I don't know. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.